Hello, hello, this is Budgets with Grace, where I give you a glimpse of my life using the lens of my budget. My name's Grace, and it is the last paycheck of the month. It is a five Friday month, which means I get a magic fifth paycheck for the month. And I decided to stitch all of my weekly budget videos together this month so you can watch them all in a row. So this was kind of a middle of the month decision. So if it's not very cohesive, I apologize. We'll see how this format goes, how editing it goes and exporting it and how you guys like it too. So let me know in the comments. Today is payday, which means I'll be using the software WhineApp, which is some of the best budgeting software out there to give every dollar a job and create a zero-based budget. If you notice a couple things in my account that you don't recognize in your own, it's probably part of Toolkit for YNAB, which is a free Google Chrome and Firefox browser extension. There's a link to try YNAB in the description below, as well as a link for Toolkit. And with that, I have a couple updates to make in my budget, but first let's go ahead and Actions. It looks like okay. This is what I want. I want four new transactions, which there's only three showing, which is odd, but okay. Got paid. I had to buy new sneakers. I say I had to because I tried to leave the house the other day and I didn't have any sneakers. So I should have been budgeting for that, but I haven't. And there is a change in my budget that you'll be able to see reflecting that. Great, and now I'm ready to begin funding some things. I believe I have some overspending for the sneakers I just mentioned, so I will cover that with my Budgeted. Now I will go ahead and start funding. Actually, that hasn't come out yet, so we'll do that a little later. Oh, there was another change in July that I wanted to make. So I want to begin investing more, and so I doubled how much I'm investing a month. I decided to keep my weekly automatic transactions for $50, and then I added another automatic payment that will come out twice a month for $100. I think this will help with dollar cost averaging. Great. Oh, I thought I already had one come out. I guess not. I guess that will come out on Monday. So I think I will go ahead and do one ex a couple extra for those. Just one hundred. That should be good. And I'll skip the rest for now. My biggest expenses. So we got mortgage and electric. And I'm just gonna divide that by two. Split those costs with my boyfriend. Wow, it went so fast. Happens every time. I'll go ahead and finish funding the vet visit that's coming up. I increased how much I'm budgeting for hair because I think I want to get the color toned a little bit darker, which shouldn't be as expensive as a bleach and tone. Should just be able to take it one tone darker. So saving a little extra for that. And I think I'm going to skip, skip down to the bottom. And some of the big changes are I'm not going to be adding any more to my emergency fund. I am going to continue contributing to the nest egg. So I'll go ahead and do all those because why not? And this is an effort to try to reduce how much I'm budgeting every month and all these categories. I think I need to even do more at birthday because there's a birthday event. Probably need more than that too. Oof. Those. 
this. I don't think there's going to be a lot because I <laughs> already scrimped and scraped to cover uh, extra things. I'm also looking in July, which is not the right one. Yep, not really anything going on. Um, I guess I can release um, this found it, which gets me a little bit extra. Whoops. Whoops. And I think I'll just throw this into coffee. And that is an every dollar zero based budget. To touch on another budget change, I added a specific category for clothing spending. So typically I've only had one category for clothing, but um, I think that having a few broken out categories is gonna help me predict what I'll need to spend when. So like footwear like is so infrequent, I don't need to buy shoes every month, but when I do, like, for example, I just spent $115 on sneakers, which is actually pretty good. And actually, the only reason I haven't been keeping up with buying sneakers is because Vans discontinued the sneaker that I like. So we'll see how this new brand goes. I don't know. Seasonal, I added for, like, summery things. Then obviously, seasons change, so I just know that I need summery things. Another change potentially is this cash that I'm saving up to pay off debts. I, if you look at my reports and see, I have spent so much on quality of life this year and maybe some of that can actually be put into wealth building instead. I haven't fully decided what I want to do. Um, so I'm just thinking about it. Thanks for budgeting along with me. One week later. All right, so first let's look at money moves. So I'm gonna open recent moves here. Oh, I just realized how small this is. I like a small screen, but I think it's hard for you guys to see. So recent moves. I'm gonna go into moved, and I'm gonna scroll down because this is a big one. This is for my savings that I was saving to pay off debt. So I was kind of thinking about this and I put $10,000 towards paying back my grandpa this year and I think I want to like use that cash for other things. So um, these are just years but they're actually categories um, to represent how many years I've owned my home. So I took all that money and put it into a couple categories under home ownership. So I'm trying to go off of the 50% rule. So under here, I put some notes. I owned my home for half the year in 2018. So this is half a percent of the value. Then I took the full 1% for 2019 and 2020. I took out half of it just to go into my actual emergency fund. And I looked at my records in Wine Addicts, which I saw how much I've actually spent on home improvement since, I want to say since I uh, got the home, but really just since I've been using the Wine Up. So now I am almost funded for another half year. So I'm going to click on underfunded. And this brings me to current three years living and owning my home. I'm just going to move this to, I'll just pull it up for you, 2018. And now 
I'm just going to delete that. And I'm actually also going to, I have another category here that needs to be funded because bringing that current just accounted until June. So 190 is the amount that I'm going to be saving every month. So I'm just going to move all of this into one percent home value. Now I can delete all of this. Great, so that's the amount of money that I have that I want to go towards home improvement. I really want to do some home rental stuff and try to increase the value of my home. So we'll see if that can happen. So there were also a couple other things in recent moves. Um, I decided I wanted to get passes. So I've been going to figure skating every week so I can get a 10 pass. 10 punch pass to go 10 times and um, save like 15 bucks instead of paying full price. And then yoga. I really want to get back into going to the yoga studio. It is not cheap, unfortunately. So let's see. I believe that is under lifestyle or perhaps I believe I put it in true expenses. Yes. So I'm just going to underfund. So that brings it to about $15 a class rather than $20 for just one. So it's expensive, but I, I want to get my yoga on. Let's see. And the other thing, I think I already pulled from this, so I'm just going to replenish that because it's only nine days into the month. Okay, double checking. I think we're ready to dive into funding some August. Let's do it. And I'm going to start in wealth building, add another week for my um, IRA contribution, another week for my bridge investment, and I'll do half the amount I want in this new business. And now immediate obligations. Let's just do this one. And the rest are all more than a month away. And I'm going to hold back for budgeting for them. Which sounds weird. I always feel like I, I always feel like I want to get further ahead, but I try to hold back. So I think I'll need another one of these sometime in September. Put this down here. And I'll just do one of those for now. I know I'm going to run out of money. I want to get actually down to like, I haven't done any groceries, so let's do 45 there. Then into home goods. Is that like 45 left? Yes, that's good. I can map. Kitties, what do we have upcoming? Yeah, we can do let's do half. Lifestyle. And that should be good there. Oh, I know what I can do. I just remembered what I can do about this yoga thing. Because I definitely want to start funding for it already. So I'm going to move this to the other yogi category. If I click on 
this, then I change it to, let's say, September. So it's 10 classes, which is like two and a half months, which is like kind of an annoying way to budget for it. But that's okay. I'm just going to open everything and kind of scan through what I want to do here. That's like most of my money. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Underfunded three forty two fifty. Nice. The only annoying thing you can guess is. This is that 50 cents. And uh, no, I don't think I can live with it. Nor will I. Let's see how that goes in the future. Perfect. Okay, I have like 60 cents, so now I'm going to try to do some found it and see if I can scrape in any extras wherever they might be. Somebody pointed out this is like pretty much the same as, um, I don't even remember what YNAB calls it, like snip and save. I'll have to look it up. But I don't remember. Anyway, it's pretty much that. Slash, slash, and save. You know, I'm remembering as I'm going through this that I think I've pretty much already done this. So back in recent moves when I decided I wanted to try to get those passes, I did a lot of money moving. Oh my gosh. So looks like I took the money I had set aside for figure skates, put it in the figure skate pass. Looks like I had some change, like weird cents left in my fee budget. So I moved that to found it and also the PC fund. See, decided to take 20 bucks and put it into Hollow Taco, I guess. Um, uh, da -da, that's some fun stuff. Travel, I took a little bit out and put it into the skating pass. I think there was like an odd amount, so I put two bucks back and found it. Let's see, bought some gifts. Went up, see, like lots of like found it. Um, Fourth of July, whatever was left over, I put it and found it, and then I rolled that up and put it into the skating pass. And then I also was blessed with a few more referrals for my app, so took some of the cash I had saved up for that annual membership, put it into yoga, and uh, yeah, found it into yoga. So. Overall, I've already done found it, and I am super stoked about getting those passes. I won't be a little bit more fit than I am right now. <laughs> uh, it's also becoming apparent to me that I'm probably not going to get to do a monthly recap for my spending, so I want to show off my network because it's so exciting. Da da da. So this is all time, April 2020 to June 2021, and this is like really cool to see. My assets are up to $18,874. My debts have remained pretty much the same for months and months. 
so also good to see. Did I really only start one? How many did I do? 20? That's insane. Oh, I think also that's why. Okay, I've got to show all of these. That looks more right. So you can see there's a dip in the debt when I paid off my grandpa. And um, my assets are actually, oh my gosh, this is insane. $52,973. We'll just say 53000 So that's a combination of my retirement accounts, brokerage accounts, cash, all those things. So it's really awesome to see that it keeps going up and it keeps growing and uh, yeah, couldn't do it without why not. One week later. Today is payday. It is the fourth payday in July. Oh my gosh, is that right? No, no, third. Yes, the third paycheck in July. Now let's get to budgeting. Should I say let's get to budgeting or let's get to assigning now that YNAB has decided to change all their labeling? And I briefly looked at this and I mean, it's cool that this exists now for mobile. I don't know why they need auto assign available here as well as over here. All that aside, I'm going to be putting all this money towards August. Oh, oh my gosh. Did it click it? Okay, no. Oh, it did. Crap. <laughs> Dang, it's being really slow. I wonder why. And one thing that I don't like I mean, it's cool that you can click this now and it will apply partial funding. And I don't really know like a way around this. I just wish that like it's just going from top to bottom across all my goals, which is fine. I don't love it though. So probably not the feature for me. So instead I'm gonna do what I always do, which is try to stay one week into the future ahead. And I will just finish funding home equity and skip over risky business. And now since my to be assigned money includes what my partner gives me for rent, I'm now going to tick everything. That is until today, which is the 16th. So I'll also do homeowners because we do also split that under that much. So one reason for that is my mortgage increased. I believe the taxes increased. So I'm, I'm going to actually do something crazy and delete all my targets for everything here because I have upcoming transactions for all of them. And it's kind of like making it double the work for me. To update them in both places. So I'll just leave the monthly medication out of that. And we're good in those first few categories. Moving along to true expenses. Pretty excited that I bought myself some new tires. It's a weird thing to be excited about, but I will begin funding. I had to buy two tires, so I'll begin funding for the other two tires. They gave me about a year's time to do that, or recommended to get them looked at again around then. So I'm just gonna tick off all of these ones that are less than 10 bucks. And click on, that's only $38. I mean, I could do a little more than that. I'll do 75 car insurance, 15 to contacts. Let's just do 10 into contact fitting. Oh, actually, I think I checked on this before. Let me undo that. Put 
nine there. And let's see what those three look like in August. I had some suggestions about what to call this segment, but I'm going to go with even Stevens. So <laughs> I am trying to make these dollar amounts uh, equal going forward in my targets. So we can see that they all have some amount of change still part of the goal. So what I do is I start tweaking things and seeing how I can make those numbers even. So if we go forward again to September. Still need a couple bucks to get this down to 74. This can still go a little bit lower, I think. And I think we went past on contact. So what if I just do 10 in contacts, say 20 there. I'm saying contacts twice is because there's the contact fitting, which is with the doctor, and then buying the actual contacts. So I'm realizing that that's probably pretty confusing when I say that. Okay. Let's see what that did. I'm kind of predicting that I put a little too much in car insurance, which is what I did. So I'll just undo that and do more like five maybe. One more dollar there. Yes, so new contacts is now an even number, so I'm just going to keep doing this until it does that. Yeah. Cool, so now all of my True expense targets are going to be even numbers in September. Don't ask me why I'm like this. Just, just don't ask. I kind of just want to crush all of these. Can I do it? I can totally do it. I'll do that. And the rest should probably go towards these things. Groceries. Um, <clears throat> home goods, I'll just add five for now. Eating out, probably start throwing some money in there. It's already a little bit in coffee, so I think I'll leave it there. Only 12 at weight left. Um, guess I can throw 10 in there. And let's see what I have in Found It. So I'm going to release what I have there. Release what I have there and now roll down all of these categories and see if there's some change I can skimp out of anything. So these have both turned blue, which is part of the toolkit for YNAB, but now if I go forward, I'm going to reset the target. So I'm going to click Edit Target and Save Target. Same thing with this one. And now they are, this one's gray because there's nothing left, but this is still green for my groceries. I am moving 1504 list to bites with myself because I went and got lunch today. And then I legit.
switch it and went and got a coffee. So, I mean, it was like three and a coffee. I don't remember the exact change for that. It was less than six bucks, but I don't remember exactly. So that'll be fine. So then I'll just take this amount. I'll just move $1 into Yogi. Then it'll be, I, I'd like to have it in increments of five because that's how much I give when I go to the community donation yoga. And the reason it's so high right now is because I want to buy a 10 class pass to go to a little more like studio yoga. It's going to be hot in there and just get a really start working out. I want to be fit. That looks good. Seven dollars and eighty-eight cents. Where shall it go? I guess I'll just throw it into household for groceries. That's a sure thing. Oh, oh, I can't just click on that. Oh, I mean, I had. Some Budget audit. What's the budget audit? Interesting. So assign manual, put this into groceries. Great, and that puts me at underfunded thirteen eighty five pretty much. That's looking great. Love that for us. This is that coffee I mentioned. It's a little fancy and a little bit amazingly delicious. I love magic months because this is only the third paycheck. I know that my next paycheck will cover this and then or will it? I think it should because I'm going to have a slightly smaller paycheck for the last paycheck in the month because I need to take a day off. Funny enough, I need to take time off from my job to apply to get a full-time job, which is the same job. I'm just a contractor right now. <laughs> so that's, I can't really charge them hours for while I'm interviewing. <laughs> I have to do that on my own time. Go figure. Let's take a peek at reports and look at categories. Oh, not this one. This one. And I'm gonna look at trends. Oh wow. Let's do the last three months. I feel like I've been spending like crazy amounts, but it looks like I'm pretty much on par. The only thing is, oh, a little higher in food spending already, and it is only the 16th. So, lifestyle spending is less, household is less, wealth building will get up there, immediate obligation, I pretty much already made the biggest payment, which is mortgage, and then quality of life, that's for the tires, so. Overall, I'm doing so far pretty well for halfway through the month. Going to watch a couple things, try to not eat out as so much. It's just been so delicious and nice to go out to restaurants with friends. So maybe that's also okay for my budget to change a little bit in this post-COVID world. One week later. It is now the fourth paycheck in July. Paycheck number four. So... I am going to go into my bank account. I'm doing this a little bit early because I have plans coming up. Gotta label that. 
it's action there. Oh, I'm also going to zoom in. Maybe someday I'll remember to do that before I begin shooting, but that day is not today. So I'm going to select my paycheck here. I'm going to go up here and enter now. So that means that this transaction is entered for today and the upcoming transaction that I have scheduled will be next week. So now that I've got some money to that is ready to be assigned, I'm going to cover a couple of things in this month before getting ahead to next month. So let's see, isn't it under, I think I wanted to add a bit to food with friends because uh, my friend is going to be watching my cats and I would like to buy him a little lunch or something. And I added some upcoming transactions for the HelloFresh boxes. So I know I need at least 42 cents to cover that. Plus it's like not the only groceries that we buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like 50. And uh, hopefully that will be good for the rest of this month. And now the last one would be my splurge on the clothing. I bought expensive workout clothing. <laughs> I was getting prepared to go to yoga. You know from my last budget with me videos, I got yoga passes. And I put on my pants and I like went to work. I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear my yoga pants to work and then go straight to yoga. It would be great. And during the day, I realized that there were two holes on either of my inner thighs. And I didn't even get these yoga pants that long ago. They were from Costco. They were a good deal. And I just broke. I just needed, <laughs> needed those fancy, fancy workout clothes. So that should be good for what I want to do in July. And let's see if I can still maintain my one month ahead streak. So it looks like I can't when you look at underfunded, but I did add all those upcoming transactions for HelloFresh. So if I deselect the forest category, because half of those payments are coming from him. Oh man, I'm underfunded just by a little bit under. Oh. So let's see if I can fix that with found it. That would be cool if I could do that. So I'm going to release that found it. 3109. Let's open everything and try to scrounge up a little bit of change. Never anything out of true expenses. I'll take 10 back from Food with Friends and 2109 from groceries. And that's it. Voila. One week later. All right, so magic month. I thought a lot about what I want to do with this. And I realized that I was fretting over where to save this money. And after talking to a friend, I'm going to try to not save any of it. So oops, I'm in September. I'll go to today. I do like that little shortcut. That's a good new feature. 
So Hollow Taco is having a huge second year anniversary release tomorrow. So definitely putting $100 in there. And I also noticed really quick in August that I actually am a little bit underfunded here. Click on underfunded. And now the rest of this, I am going to go over a couple different options that I thought of. So one option would be to just throw it into my nest egg for my wedding. Oh, shoot. So I'm just going to do that and look at it and see how it makes me feel. It feels okay. But let's take it back. So I just did um, Command Z, Control Z if you're on a PC. And what if I finished funding New Orleans? So I only need 400 because I actually budgeted for it already in August. So, and then maybe the rest of this can go to wedding. So that's also good. But instead of all that, <laughs> I mean, I could also put it towards like saving up for to pay off my student loans, but I'm actually going to go into my true expense and put all of this into my computer fund. So how much do I need? this. I'm really close to that goal now. I'm like 25 bucks off, which actually, ooh, I think I have some in my found it category. I've been using this more throughout the week and I really like to just throw money in there if I don't spend it all out of a category. So I need 99 cents to make a dollar. Why am I doing this? Mental gymnastics. So I'm gonna, I'm going to take out this here. And then assign it in this month. So let's see if I do 199. I don't know why I forced myself to do all of that mental gymnastics, but I did. And here we are, just like that, the end of a magic month. Uh, I completely funded August, and I paid for everything in July. There was a lot to pay. Um, my car insurance came out, and I started doing more fitness, so I paid for an uh, expensive yoga pass, and feels good. I'm feeling good. And now I'm going to go shop for a new Mac. So thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos and you want to support me, you can follow me on Instagram. You can buy me a coffee. And of course, you can like, comment, subscribe, all the things. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.